the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. This morning now, we're all very sad and sorrowful, and it's very much the Dalton family funeral for their John, the dad, Catherine's husband, John, and the dad, the family. And <clears throat> lots of people, this church would be completely overpacked if things were normal. The whole of Leash and half of Leinster would want to pay tribute to John, his unique popularity and personality and involvement in so much. But we, with the family now, will pray our Mass as well as we can to thank God and to express our appreciation for John's life as a father, as a husband, as a member of our community that we're proud to know and to love. Lord have mercy on him. We begin with the, I confess to Almighty God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I fail to do. I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have mercy, Christ of mercy, Lord of mercy, let us pray. O oh God Almighty Father, our faith professes that your son John died and rose again, that Jesus your son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant John, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. And now we'll sit for the celebration and reading of God's word, and all of us trying to find some consolation in the word of God, the word of mercy and forgiveness for us. First reading, a reading from the Book of Lamentations. The favours of the Lord are not all past. His kindnesses are not exhausted. Every morning they are renewed. Great is his faithfulness. The portion is the Lord, says my soul, and so I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who trust him, to the soul that searches for him. It is good to wait in silence for the Lord to save. This is the word of the Lord. Sponsorial Psalm, the response is, The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. Response. He guides me along the right path, he is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil should, would I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff. With these you give me comfort. Response. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. Response. Surely goodness and kindness will follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. Response. Second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. When we were baptised in Christ, Jesus, we were baptised in his death. In other words, when we were baptised, we went into the tomb with him and joined in him in death so that as Christ was raised from the dead 
by the Father's glory, we too might live a new life. For we believe that having died with Christ, we shall return to life with him. Christ, as we know, having been raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power over, over him anymore. This is the word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus exclaimed, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, just as no one knows the Father except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. We'll just sit down for a few moments now. <clears throat> it's not really about a big long sermon, but it's, uh, <clears throat> first of all, Catherine and the family. I'm very ashamed that the heating is not working properly. Andy turned it on at 7 o'clock this morning and it obviously cut out and didn't work properly. Can't do anything about it. Shame that now. I'm sad and sorrowful with the family and Catherine there today. The photograph there of John on the coffin tells us a lot about his life and the Liege Nationalist and the Leinster express so much of his life and his activity on Tuesday. John Dalton, in a few words, so well known, a big hearted man, a man of great good humor, a family man, a father, was so proud of his family, a happy person, a sportsman, well known, well liked, and well respected. Himself and Catherine they looked on him as a great team, and they had great days, but unfortunately they had very sad days too. Today is one of them, a sad day for Catherine and the four lads and the five daughters and their family members and the grandchildren and the very many friends that John had through his work and through his sport activity. It's only a few months since young John, John Jr.'s funeral was here and his dad John was so upset that day he struggled from over there to come up here and he just wanted to say well done and thanks to Catherine his wife and he wanted to thank and express appreciation of his sons and daughters and their families and he was barely able to do it but he recovered a good bit since then and had the big smile back and <clears throat> not easy at a funeral to have good news on a sad occasion like this. But the Christian story always has good news too. 
like today's gospel, speaking to us about new life and resurrection. And Jesus saying, come to me and I will give you rest. But we can't say that without thinking too of the times we were all here for Martina's funeral and for young John's funeral. And now our prayer and our hope and our faith tells us they are united in the new life of resurrection that we don't understand. We know that John, Daddy John, faced a difficult time of treatment in Tullamore in preparation for the risky operation that he was due to have. But he faced that with a smile on his face, even though maybe he knew it was very serious. And uh, maybe we can think and see some bit of sense in that he has been saved that operation and that continuous sickness and suffering now. The gospel always brings us to some aspect of the life and the teaching of Jesus Christ. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavenly burdened, and I will give you rest. Our Irish homes and families are all Christian homes. And God's Word, without even thinking much about it, God's Word is part of our lives. We don't, none of us can claim to lead perfect lives or to have perfect homes. But we do a more, a most important thing when we live for each other, support each other and help each other. Exactly what John said here at young John's funeral. He wanted to express his appreciation of the help and cooperation of his family and of his wife. So John, I just want to say today to Catherine and the family, I'm expressing the pride we all have in you as a family and as a home and as friends and as community and as parishioners always, the interest in so many things that John expressed and helped and the big smile he always had in a more part. Lord, have mercy on him. Unite him with his son and his daughter and grant consolation and hope to his wife and his sons and daughters. May he rest in peace. Amen. The family now have the prayers. The prayer of our family today is to give thanks to God that we were blessed with a very special dad who was a devoted husband and father, who cared for us all and gave us such good example. Lord, hear us. Lord, we pray in thanksgiving for all Dad's gifts, his interest in people and the care he gave through his work and involvement in community and in sport. Lord, hear us. In sadness and sorrow, we ask, Lord, that Dad, through death, be reunited with his daughter Martina and his recently departed son John. Lord, hear us. Lord, we pray for those who are sick at this time and who are fearful of the virus, and we pray for those who care for the sick and vulnerable. Lord, hear us. Lord, bless and reward all the friends of Daddy and our family who are so kind and supportive at this time of sorrow. Lord, hear us. Turn and rest and unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine. May they rest in peace. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, we will come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we have fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink lord god we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts wash away my Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant John, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving saviour, only find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of the awe-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might cast unity to all creation, and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with the angels we praise you in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Let your spirit make holy these Gifts we pray by sending down your spirit on them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, our church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Dennis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, John Dalton, whom you have called today from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters 
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. We remember especially Martina and John Jr. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We stand now again and pray together as our Saviour asked us, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom of our Lord and Lord, yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, may all the more takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Say the word of my soul shall be in the body and blood of Christ. Keep me safe for eternal life.
few precious moments for each one of us to make our own prayer. Lord, I thank you for the life, the vocation of John Dalton. The happiness and the friendship he offered in his own family, his own home, his own community, with friends and neighbours. Lord, be merciful. Look on his kindness and goodness. Jesus, mercy, Mary, help. Bless and reward Catherine and John's family who are mourning and sad and grieving today. They have lost the special one they loved. Jesus, mercy, and Mary, help. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the final journey of life, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our brother John may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Thank you very much, John. Thank you. Recording a little for the live stream. Thank you. Your cooperation, your sadness today. May Almighty God bless you all and bless John, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has ended. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Maybe we'll stand now for the fine. Oh, sorry, Michael. Sorry, sorry. Michael, yeah. I had to write down a few notes. Something Johnny would never have to do. Just keep. I want to start by thanking a few people. Uh, first of all, Father Kelly. He's been a friend to our family, for, especially to our parents. Uh, great friendship and great comfort of all through the years. So I just want to thank him. I want to thank all the friends that rang uh, checking out for Johnny all along the last year, all the time anyway. Uh, but a special, pay a special tribute to our mother and all the Dalton women. But this came about not two or three weeks after John. The easiest thing would have been to roll down, to fall down, couldn't take it. But all the women, they all stood up, they all they're absolutely amazing what they were doing. They were precise, precise about everything they did. They were going to make sure everything was done right. They were, going to, they were confident or positive about everything. They were cajoling and harassing, goading, and were pampering all along. The rest was were just following in the slipstream of what was going on. We were trying to do, it was all menial. They were the real driving force all along. Uh, I can't thank them enough for what they did the last few months. I had a speech the last time. I talked maybe I'd just copy and paste, but I couldn't. Whereas John was reserved, quiet. Johnny was gregarious, uh, no way quiet. John would have hated all any fuss, but I know that Johnny would have loved every minute of this. He would have loved it. He spent his time instilling values into us, the two of them. 
Uh, we're trying to instill them all into our families, all in Ogden. And I look down and I can't see, I, th I don't think we're doing too bad. He had a mantra that if you had good friends and good neighbours, you weren't, you were not doing too bad in life. And it's something that we've all followed. I know myself and Raymond are up in Valapigas. We have great friends, great neighbours. They do anything for us. And I know all the rest of them are I followed the same thing all along. You would, I didn't know where to start. He packed in so much in the 76 years, you would not believe it. And I've been trying to condense it. It's like a book of war and peace. What he covered. Between the involvement in GEA from the start, I remember as young lads, we were watching them playing intermediate hurling, senior hurling, and there was no place for the faint heart at that time. Came to Tim Hall to play, and he played football. I even finished up, when I started with Tim Hall, junior ranks, I got to play with him for a few matches while he was, he was winding down. And a few years later, I got the chance to play against him. He was still playing in goals for cold. So I did my dead living best to stitch one past him. And he was well in his 40s and he was still like a cat. Couldn't be, couldn't be passed. He'd, farming, politics, he'd even his involvement with the wheelchair social later lives, the falls. When he gave up farming, he was like any farmer. Hated paying tax. He became a PAYE worker. And he nearly turned into a car carrying socialist finishing up. Um, you could, I could talk all day. I just picked one story involving three passions he had between, I keep talking, so many of them. But uh, I met a woman last Tuesday morning. Uh, she was a good friend of the family of Johnny and Catherine. And I don't know whether it was fate or anything. She started talking and remembering old times. I hadn't seen her in 30 years. Uh, all these memories started coming back. So I just picked this one because it, sort of, it involved three passions he had. When we were young lads, in the winter time, We'd be packed off with Johnny every Sunday evening to go table tennis practice. So we'd go to table tennis out in the CYMS in Abbey Leagues. They'd all come in, there were seven or eight of them in the club. So we were there, young lads, they'd all file in one after another. This was practice training. They all looked as if they were going to Mass on a Sunday. The only difference is they had a bat and then white Dunlop tennis shoes, every one of them. That's the only way you knew it. So they came in to do their warm up involved playing a few matches against each other. Some lad be playing, I won't mention whoever we played against Johnny. He'd leave the ball, might leave the ball up an inch over that net. And all we'd see is a puff of smoke. And your man heading down the Mount Rad Road looking for that ball. That was all the time. So they, they'd have their warm-up done after about half an hour, so we'd start playing then, the young lads. So he set, he set into his second passion, playing cards. They moved into a corner, play cards. We would be playing. And every now and again, one or two might get up just to loosen up and play. This was, a, this was their training. So they come back, they start playing doubles, and they do that for another half hour. And then they decided to have their warm down, which involved the rubber in 25 at the end. So that was two of the passions. We go home, we'd be go up in the car, and with no protein drinks that time. So he had one, 
we'd go up to Chipper. He'd have to get a fish and chip. We'd get chips, we'd have her, we couldn't believe ourselves. We'd be home at 10 or 11 o'clock on Sunday night, way past her bedtime, but that's just the way it was. To the last week of his life, the third passion, he never forgot having a fish and chips. It all was the way. So I'll just finish with this. Well, Kathleen and I had a son. We called him Ian, the Scottish version of John. I know what Pat and Bernie had their son. They called him the, the Irish version of Sean. I know that Kathleen and I had said that there was too many John Daltons at the time. But in the space of three months, there's no John Daltons anymore. I just want to say, whoever's up there, Bob, I think you've done enough now at this stage, you can leave us alone. And the three of, the three of them looking down on this, I think we're going to need a little bit of help for a while. Guide us a bit, because it's all a bit raw for us at the moment. Thank you. Final prayers and <clears throat> until I heard Michael's being there, forgotten now. A letter yesterday from Maura and John O'Brien to know what I mentioned at the funeral. Their thanks of all the help John gave them, raising money every year for the Fatima, for the pilgrimage to Fatima. And, uh, I, uh, I'm on a bit. I'm a bit old and stupid this year and free it seems to be not stupid or any other than one of the things I forgot. Trusting in God, we have prayed here at Mass in Timaho for John e. Dalton, and now we come to the final farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see John again and enjoy his friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. Saints of God, come to his aid. Come to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Into your hands, Father of mercy, we commend our brother in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We thank you for the blessing to be stored on him in this life. There are signs to us of your goodness and our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us. Listen to our prayer. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with the assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. Our Father, who art in heaven.
In peace now, let us take our brother John to his place of rest. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. Whoever believes in me, even though that person that will live, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Amen. nothing left to do Farewell my old companion You will be remembered And as you leave this world I thought the world of you All that was in your heart You carried on your shoulders The mark of your old hand Is embedded in the past
takes you home at last Goodbye my old friend Don't be afraid I'm with you I'll guide you to the light Your restless spirit Light upon my way. 